We have a powering Broward open house here because a lot of folks in our community don't know that between the Wheel Abrator Waste to Energy Plant and the Central Landfill Gas to Energy Plant, we power 60,000 homes a day from this location and you add it to our plant in, in South Broward County and we're powering 110,000 homes a day from waste in Broward County. So this is where the, our process starts, the trash comes in. And based on our needs for the boilers, the trash is either stacked, stowed, or put in directly to the boiler. Danny, why don't you feed uh, two? The uh, plant is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, so Danny's going to fill this load into number two. You see he picks up the trash, he brings it back, and he, and he breaks it over the lip. And it slides down the front of the, of the angle of the lip. And what that does, it prevents plugging. If he would bring that all the way back and drop it in the back, it would plug. And when it's plugged, that means everybody's out there with poles trying to unplug it. It's really a pain in the neck. We don't want to do that. So all the crane operators are trained to bring the, bring the trash and break it on the lip. What we found in the past is most people are afraid of the unknown and they don't know what's going on here. And everybody I can say that we brought in here comes away with a more positive idea of what's happened to the solid waste and I think a better positive idea of waste management itself and that we're handling the waste in a, in a correct manner. We've invited students from Deerfield Middle School because they are just energized about the environment. They want to know how to recycle, how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And uh, here, we wanted to teach them about energy, how we're using household waste to create electrical power. It's green energy. We actually produce more energy from waste in this country, waste management does, than the entire solar industry. And it's important for the students to know that. We really enjoyed the tour. I think the kids were impressed to see how much of our garbage is actually burned for energy. You know, sort of like renewable energy. Many people drive by these facilities and have no idea what goes on here. So waste management has made it an effort to educate students in our community and other civic activists, condo activists, to learn more about what the facility entails and offer these tours for their benefit and education. I learned that they have to put dirt over the trash every day and they have pipes to keep the methane because you see the tubes on Sample Road all the time, you never really know what they're about. So I learned what the tubes are for and learned that they make energy for them. Today I learned that it's actually a long process for them to actually burn the trash, not just them throwing it in some big machine. They actually sort it and do different things to actually get to the trash that we use for energy. Most of the people who live near the landfill or near Wheel of Brader or within anywhere in Broward County have no idea where their trash is going. They put it on the curb and they forget about it. But when they come here and they see that Wheel of Brader is burning their trash at 2200 degrees Fahrenheit and creating electricity or that it's going some in the landfill and we, the methane gas is creating electricity and powering their light at home or their computer at home, they're pretty amazed by that technology. Dear